Our top story today, for home buyers of Gurgaon, it's been a double whammy. Not just their homes are delayed, they are also having to deal with the VAT confusion. Even after three years of having introduced VAT on sale of housing units, there is little clarity on the methodology to compute VAT, leaving thousands of Gurgaon home buyers at the mercy of developers who are charging them anywhere between 1% to 5 plus percent as VAT. Onita Moja has the story. These home buyers are far from settled and happy even after getting possession of their homes. Dr. Mahinder Singh, a retired government official, booked his flat in Gurgaon in 2011. Five years later, along with the possession letter, came this communication from his developer asking for an additional 5 lakh rupees towards VAT, calculated at 5.25%, something that Dr. Singh, a pensioner, had never budgeted for. At the time of giving position, he demanded 5.25% of the total value consideration. Uh, in my case, it was about 95 lakhs, roughly about 95 lakhs, which means corresponding to 4 lakhs 95,100 rupees. I was required to deposit in SDFC bank as fixed deposit and that they will create a lien against that. So we had to do it. I had no option but to give this. Home buyers across Gurgaon is paying anywhere from 1% to over 5% as VAT simply because the Haryana government does not have a clear methodology in place to calculate VAT. We have received demand for 4%. Earlier it was 4% of the total sale consideration. So now uh, there is a revised demand. They are asking 1% on the name of assessing authority and 3% as an undated check uh, in favour of Raheja developers. This is what Raheja officials had to say. We are following the law in the letter and spirit of the law. The money is getting collected or people who have been asked to provide money is collected are directly deposited to the government or particularly in escrow, which essentially will go to the government as and when the cases get decided and judgments count finally. If there is, if, if I'm saying, and there's an if out there, because if, the residue, if there is any residual imbalance which is to the credit of them, that will definitely get refunded to them. While the Haryana VAT department has assessed Raheja developers' VAT liabilities at 8%, Tulip Infratech Projects has received a demand letter of over 10%. जो भी हमारा हो गया है उसमें इन्होंने 10.5% के 10 से 10.5% के बीच में इन्होंने डिमांड की है जिसमें 5% वेट आया है 5% के आसपास पेनल्टीज आई हैं टोटल टर्नओवर का 10% ये बहुत ज्यादा है जबकि हमने पीछे गवर्नमेंट को कहा था कि जो हम हमें डीम्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्टर गवर्नमेंट मानती है डेवलपर्स को अगर गवर्नमेंट को गवर्नमेंट डेवलपर्स को डीम्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्टर मानती है तो हमने लैंड बेची प्लस कंस्ट्रक्शन उसके लिए की क्योंकि उसके पैसे से कंस्ट्रक्शन की तो उस पर स्टैंप ड्यूटी नहीं आनी चाहिए अगर उस पर स्टैंप ड्यूटी आती है तो डबल टैक्सेशन एंड यूजर के ऊपर बर्डन आता है कि वो उसी प्रॉपर्टी के ऊपर कंस्ट्रक्शन जो कर रहे हैं हम उसे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट भी मानती है गवर्नमेंट और उसे जब रजिस्ट्रेशन स्टैंप एक्ट में जाते हैं तो गवर्नमेंट कहती है उस पर स्टैंप ड्यूटी देनी पड़ेगी एक ही चीज़ पर डबल टैक्सेशन हो रहा है कि वो पहले स्टैंप ड्यूटी भी पे कर रहा है और स्टैंप ड्यूटी के साथ साथ वैट भी दे रहा है the confusion over vat started in 2013 when haryana government's tax department then under congress rule issued an internal memo this was followed by two more circulars but none of the circulars came up with a clear formula to calculate vat even the present bjp regime seems to be dragging its feet on the matter the government has not framed proper laws they have said that from the valley you can exclude service and other like charges what is the meaning of other like charges nobody knows I mean, there are so many charges like uh, PLC, EDC, IDC, second parking. Every builder is taking a different stand as to what is the meaning of exclusion of other like charges. In 2014, CHD developers moved the Punjab and Haryana High Court to get some clarity on the issue. As per the ruling of May 2015, the Haryana government has been directed to amend the definition of sale in order to include the transfer of property in goods involved in immovable property and exclude value of land for levy of VAT. This is yet to happen and hence the confusion continues. When contacted, the Gurgaon Tax Department officials refused to comment, saying it is for the headquarters in Chandigarh to comment on the matter. In Gurgaon, Oinitam Oja, NDTV.